Say the 42-year-old woman accused of starting a fatal house fire in Montello last weekend admitted that she did it intentionally to kill her ex-boyfriend. Our Amanda Quintana has the latest from Montello. Francis Rittman is facing first-degree intentional homicide and two arson charges for burning down Daniel Gilmartin's home with him inside. While this small town is shocked, some who knew the relationship between the two are not. He was a regular. He was a eccentric. He was a goofball. He had the biggest heart in the world, though. He was such a nice guy. Inside Tambears, the same place that claims responsibility for convincing Daniel Gilmartin to move to Montello in the first place, they're now mourning his death. If he had a good day, he came down here to celebrate. If he had a bad day, he came down here for his shoulder to cry on. But no matter what kind of day he had, he always worried about everybody else. Gil Martin bought a house just up the road, now boarded up, barely standing. It's where firefighters found his body last Saturday, determining he was still alive during the fire. Flames that had two different origins on each level of his home. His ex-girlfriend, 42-year-old Francis Rittman, being charged with his death. I was shocked, but I immediately felt like I knew what happened. This was not, it was a volatile relationship. She told investigators she intended to kill herself with Gil Martin, but then changed her mind and left without calling for help. And this wasn't the first time she allegedly burned something in his house, setting fire to a couch earlier in the month. His friends saying he ended things right before that. When he had changed the number, changed the locks, blocked her on everything, the next day she found out, she found that out and that night that it happened, she showed up like she knew nothing was wrong. While trying to remember Gil Martin for his kindness, those close to him want to see her convicted. It's just sad to, um, to see that something like this could happen just from a bad relationship. Rittman appeared from the jail by video today for a bond hearing, but her attorney pushed it back till tomorrow so she and the judge can appear in person. In Montello, Amanda Quintana, News 3 Now. If convicted, the homicide charge comes with a sentence of life in prison.